one more video on chroma keying. Hello, I'm Ajit from ESO Production and today's video we'll try to remove the video background using Blender. Also, we'll try to export the transparent foreground uh, so later we can use uh, for different software. Without any further talking, I'm going to start with Blender. I'm using here Blender 2.83, the latest version in July 2020. Okay. So because I want to remove the green screen, for that we have to work on uh, on the compositing window here in Blender. Now press N to make it more space here and also check mark for the uh, use nodes here. Delete uh, the render, render layers here because we do not need it. Render layer we need when we are exporting the 3D modeling here, 3D model. Go to add, input, import the node movie clip. Now import your video inside this node. My video is saved on desktop. I'll simply select that and open the clip. Add another node, output and viewer. Connect this movie clip image to the viewer node. And now we can see everything uh, on the backdrops what is going on. Press V key to zoom out this. We need another node. Go to desktop. Import this scale node. Here we have to select the render size. So now what will happen? Whatever settings are, uh, are uh, here on output property, uh, it, your image will behave like that. So I'm going to select here 1280 and 720. Alt B to make it zoom in. And now because I want to um, remove the green skin, so simply I will import the node keying. Go Met, insert the keying node. click on the key color take this eyedropper or color dropper take somewhere like mid tones green connect this mat to the viewer viewer image and now here we can see finally uh, what we want actually the black part is removal and the white part is foreground so we want this white make our dog white pure white and we want to make this our background pure black. Increasing, inc increasing the clip black value, our background will be st uh, will start to clean. And it turned pure black. Decrease the clip white, so our foreground will uh, become more white. Connect edges to your viewer node and make this border thin. Decrease the uh, edge kernel radius and increase the value of kernel edge kernel. That's great. Give some feather distance here around 2, post blur around 3 and similarly pre blur around 3. And now you can connect this uh, keying image to the viewer image. And boom, we have successfully removed the, uh, the green skin uh, background. We need one more node uh, to, uh, to, to remove the green reflection from the object. Go to matte, color spill. Don't change any settings from the color spill. It will remove all the reflections, greenish reflections from the object. And now connect everything to your composite node. Don't forget it. This is very important. Because viewer node is just used for view everything in backdrops. But the composite node is used for output. So if you want something output, then you have to connect your final result to the composite node. 
and now if you want to export your uh, your transparent foreground for example like this in PNG format then yes you you can go the output here output output property and uh, select the format PNG don't forget it and remember the color always select RGBA alpha should be there otherwise your object will not be a transparent background I think you did not get it if you want your object with transparent background and if you want to add it use it or compose it um, using different software then you have to uh, export this image using PNG format and RGBA red green blue plus alpha alpha must be there otherwise your your foreground will not be a transparent image otherwise if you want to um, give some background here in blender itself then I'm going to use image here but you can use um, background video as well it's not a problem go to add input image because I'm using here image for a background open it I have that image on the on my desktop here I'm using this image disconnect everything from here connect this image to your viewer node and now you have only image on your backdrops take one node go to desktop scale select on render size now our foreground and background has the same size with this scale node and simply we need here one node only to make composite to um, uh, two images foreground and background go to add color and alpha over now connect this uh, background image to somewhere in bottom uh, bottom part of connections and connect this green screen image or video to the top one connector and now first connect to the viewer node so nothing happened we have to um, change the connections upside down and boom and now you might think what is this green effect so you have to click the con convert uh, permal and now it has removed as you can see we have successfully removed the green skin and we have give some background there using blender itself okay so as you can see uh, again this is very easy okay nothing they are complicated we have taken a movie clip node using a scale node to make it a resolution um, similar for example background and foreground or uh, to make it uh, a resolution um, uh, uh, similarly with your render size then after I use the king node to uh, remove the, uh, the green skin part or the green skin background I use the color spell to remove the reflection the green is refle reflection from the dog and after that I have used an alpha over node uh, to make it the foreground to define it foreground and background after I have connected this viewer node and similarly I take a background image it is just an image it is not a video and similarly I take a scale node to make it uh, render size the resolution and after that I have connected to the alpha over, alpha over node and finally I have connected alpha, alpha over node to the viewer node and when we are going to uh, export this image we have to connect everything to the compositing node and now simply we have done everything here okay that's not complicated but if you do not want to use this background here you want to remove the green skin inside the blender and you want to uh, use that transparent foreground then you have to disconnect uh, the background from here uh, and take this color spell 
node connect directly to the viewer and directly to the composite node also delete this alpha over node uh, so if you want uh, to connect this background thing then you you need to delete these extra three nodes if you want this background here in blender uh, if you want to compose it this everything inside the blender then you have to add these extra three node okay so uh, if you want to um, output for this uh, this transparent background uh, remember you have to choose the png format bit color rgba but if you want uh, background plus foreground uh, then you can choose any format it doesn't matter so i hope you got something from this video thank you for watching this video